I'm Joe Lance, longtime SolidWorks users. So my tip I'm showing today, I have a default presentation. So when I, as a user group leader, they sometimes and your presenter can't make it or whatever happens. So I created something long time ago. Um, interesting enough, I, I, it's what's new, but what's, what's new, but not really. And that's very applicable because what I'm going to show today is not really new, but someone's going to say, oh, I totally forgot about that. So it's just rehashing those things that make sure like, wow. Ooh, didn't know that. So just reoccurrence what's new, but not really. Just remember the R key to remember. So if you hit that R key, what happens? It brings up some of the stuff that you've previously worked on. And what better way to find it without having to go through and search or go through an engineering book as we all have way too thick and way too much information and you'll never find it. But the R key remembers it for you. So how do you remember the R key? Remember. And one of the things I wanted to show is that in naming your files obviously this is not something that's new again it's just remembering those things that you totally forgot about but if you're naming convention and you're using the same file name for the model in the drawing well instead of having to go scroll up to file open try to search for it another tip that i'll include with this a couple of these i'll do but if you select the right mouse button which is highly underused it's a very handy feature and with the right mouse button most of the stuff that you need is right there. And if it's not, you can expand that and you can bring in what you, you do to customize and add stuff to it. In my particular case, I'm looking for the drawing. So I click on that drawing. So at the end of the day, my point was is that I didn't have to go search for that drawing file name because it's the same name. So the tip here is if you want to go back to the model, again, I don't care about the name. I got better things to worry about than file name. So really, I right click and I get the option here to select that model. You can see that the name here is what I'm looking for, but it's a no-brainer because it's linked to it. The parametric is at work. So I click on that and I go back to the model. All the revision, again, I'm using the current stuff, 2024. I like the new stuff, right? So here we go. I'm gonna pull that back in and it's just as simple as that. So those are some of the things that you don't think about you trying to find a file, you go to file, you click pull down, you have to find the directory and find the file that's in. Don't waste time doing that. You got better things to do again. Um, another little tip is that if you're trying to clone something or y'all want something that looks just like this, like next year, maybe I'll come back and I will do a 3DX 25, right? So I'm going to use the same model. I'm just going to, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to do a save as and I come up to file, hit my save as. I can find it there. There you go. And I want to save as. And I'm just going to basically add a name to that. I'll add, add that to 25. And we'll do a save. Update the version. Now I'm going to have to go to that particular drawing that I have open. And we'll open up that sheet one in that drawing. And I, again, I just do a, a save as. And as I do that save as, I want to name that the same name that I did on another one. So just remember that name. Once I, I save that, again, I've, I've already built in the parametric here. So I don't have to now worry about what that name is. When I clone it with everything open, you automatically build that parametric there. So you can go back and forth and you already guarantee that you've linked the correct file there. So again, I come here and I select that and you can see the name is showing open, open hip for file here. You can see the highlight the name. I click that and I'm going to, on um, the 2025 file, you can see the name here. So those are just some of the things that it's not new, but someone is spending time. The, and if you might click open here, if I come down to cu at, cu expand that, come at the customize. It has a drawing check. If I uncheck that, which yours may be unchecked, simply just go into customize. If I right click now, I don't get that option. You may not have that. Just take a minute, expand it, go to customize, find your drawing, select, select the drawing. And this is really anything. That's something that you use often. You can always add it to that. So it's the right mouse click away. And that's the beauty of it. Hopefully what you've learned here, the time spent was well spent and you pick up something from this, you learned something that you didn't know. And I hope it hope it helps to expedite your day. At the end of the day, we all just try to be more efficient, more lean, because we are truly lean these days and get your product out as quickly as you can. So hope this was helpful to you.
Aber auch zum nächsten Mal.